This is the first rough video blog of the pentode-based uh, tube mic pre design. It's uh, fired up and hot right now. It's based on Time this little guy here so quickly, like uh, and a little glass. circuit there. I for um, days right now I'm going to show died, the measurements of just the first stage. Ten it's based on a 5879 sharp cutoff so uh, pentode. Okay, so here it is, fired up past. with 250 volts on the plate, approximately. This is a uh, linear regulator, um, custom built linear regulator for 250 volts so DC. And I've got uh, on the same board, it looks like a level 5.6 uh, heater voltage, which I gotta work on. There's something wrong there. It's supposed to be 6.3, but uh, we'll fix that. And over here is the actual circuit for the tube. I've got the tube mounted on an old DI board that I made a few years back. Uh, just for breakout points. So wiring and noise is not optimal, no question. What I've done is I put a uh, pot on the plate value and a pot on My the friends all around um, me get cathode value every year. to play with so this guy. Again, um, right now not so, dear. so on the scope, that's what the waveform is. The top waveform is the input, which is according to the dials about a volt, and then the output is on 20 volts per division. And you start to see some so nice rounding happening here. Me, it um, it's an inverted so channel on the scope. There's less so now in the future the, uh, than there is. Now the I'm playing past. with the cathode, and I can get it to clip. Uh, when I listen to it with a microphone, I could barely hear it. It was nice and subtle. Um, when I put a CD through, the bottom end seemed to develop more, get a little fuller when I had it clipping. Now that's with the cathode pretty well zeroed almost out. So really uh, forgiving design right now, but the overall gain looks to be about 68, which is pretty low. So I'm going to definitely need a second stage. Uh, I tried it with a couple microphones. It did have enough gain to, to bring it up to my amplifier to be able to hear it. Uh, remarkably, with all this wire everywhere and very bad grounding practices, it's pretty quiet for noise. Uh, when I put it in a box, it should should hopefully obliterate any hum that's there. Um, I'm using Jensen transformers. I'm using uh, this guy here for the input, which is a their tube 115k output impedance C60 double double canned mu shielded. And then for the output, I've just got the, the standard JT11 BMC. I know so far, promising.